Hey guys, it's Diana here, and today we are here to make this swag hoodie. And I'm making this one for my son, so that's pretty neat because he um, loves this type of stuff and he actually um, designed this. He drew a picture of it, and I'll show it to you later. And um, and so that was really neat that he did, and so now I'm getting to do it for him. But I already cut all my pieces, and now I am grabbing, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pocket together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place the two, the pocket liner and the pocket itself, right, the outer right on top of each other, and matching up the raw edges. And then I am going to, here I am, line it up together. Then I'm gonna sew all the way around leaving the bottom open so i'm pinning all the way around my pocket my two pockets together my liner and my outer and i'm gonna surge i'm gonna sew them all the way around now i'm using a serger but if you want to use a sewing machine you can use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine um and that's just fine but i'm just gonna use a serger and go all the way around my pocket uh <clears throat> leaving this bottom part open but all the way around the other edges and i I did. I guess maybe I should change my thread, but I, I'm using black because because they're part of my a lot of my hoodies black. So I'm just doing that. But so don't mind me with my black thread. Hopefully you can't see it when I turn it right side out. At least not very much. Now I'm going up the front, the top. So here's my pocket. I'm gonna turn it right side out. And you can go ahead, and after you turn it right side out, you can go ahead and if you want to, you can top stitch it on. You can top stitch it all the way around. I am using, I'm just using a pen today. I have a tool, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I'm just pushing the ends out with a pen, the corners. Okay, so here's my pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and steam it. Like I said, if you want to go ahead and top stitch it around, you can do that. You can top stitch. This part needs to be steamed a little bit more, especially with stripes. I need to make sure that it's steamed all the way out so that they look even. Okay, so I've got my pocket put together. Now I'm going to grab my bodice front. This is my back. I need to make sure I grab the right one. I don't wanna put it on my back bodice. Here's my front, front bodice. I think this is my front, let me make sure. Maybe this is my front. Yeah, this is my front. Obviously the front is gonna be lower in the neck than the back. So I've got my front bodice and it's right side up and I'm gonna measure where the middle is. Find the middle, the middle, the middle, okay. So here's my middle and I'm gonna mark it with just a pin so I know where my middle is. And open that back up. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing to my pocket. I'm gonna fold it in half and mark it where the middle is. Or if you wanna just grab it and put it, place it right where that middle is on your shirt. So it's right in the middle. And I can still see the crease right here on the top of where my middle is, so that's where my middle is, so I'm pinning right there. And right here, and right here, and right here. Now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna top stitch um, this on, we're gonna stitch it, sew it on, and I'm just gonna do a regular straight stitch. Um, you can do it, or actually, I think I'm gonna do it on my um, cover stitch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew up at the top, all the way up top, then you're gonna sew the sides on. You're not gonna sew the pocket area, the curves, because that's where their hands are gonna go. So you don't wanna sew that shot. So we're gonna sew at the top, and we're gonna sew on the sides, and not on the bottom, not on the pocket areas, just the top and the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and do the rest. So I've sewn my pocket on. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew the sides of the 
switch it together. So here's my front and I'm just putting it right side up and I'm going to put my back right on top of me, top of the front, right side down. So the right sides are uh, meeting together at the side seams and I'm going to pin and then I'm going to sew them together. Like I said, my son picked this one out and he even picked out the colors and he, in the fabrics. His favorite color is um, orange. So he wanted to do it orange. But then he told me, um, since this is the holiday season, he said he wants this to be a Christmas sweater. But I'm like thinking, this looks more like a Halloween sweater. So he told me that he wanted me to put words on it. You know, some kind of words on it. So I said, how about we do something like orange you glad that it's almost Christmas time. So we're probably gonna do something like that, but I thought it was funny that he wanted to do the holiday um, hoodie, but it's black and orange, so it's all right. That is the good thing about sewing your own thing is that they can let their imagination flow. I'm probably not gonna find a hoodie like this anywhere else but I can make it so that's great especially when I don't even I, I just all I have to do is follow the pattern and the instructions and there it is easier than I thought so here we are sewing the sides together Now that I've done sewing the sides together, we're going to work on the um, waistband. Okay. And I have my waistband right here. So I have two. And what we're going to do is the first one, we're going to fold it right sides together. And we're going to sew those raw edges. And we're going to do the same thing for both of them gonna sew those raw edges together now this band will not be attached together usually um, you have the bands together um, the front and the back band together and then they form a continuous circle well this one doesn't they are attached in the they are yeah they're separate because then when you turn them around and you put them on they're actually going to be um, they're not gonna be attached together they're gonna have like a little um, split on the side so it's it's like a split look so it's not um, they're not attached together so here's my one band and I'm doing the same thing to the other one I'm going to turn them right side out, right side out, and I'm going to um, steam them and have them ready to attach to my band, so to my shirt. So here they are, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll show you with this one and then I'll do it with the other one. We're going to attach it to my shirt. So here's my front. Make sure I find, I'm gonna find where the middle is. Right here, and I should have left my pin showing me where the middle was for my jacket, but I didn't. But I'm gonna put a pin again, showing me where the middle is for my hood. Oop, I caught the back too, I'm just catching the front. Um, and so now that I know that here's my middle of my waistband, I'm gonna notch it. That's what I usually do. I like to look, make a little notch. Um, I'm going to place that right side on top of it, and I'm gonna pin right there where it is, where the middle piece is. So I have like a bunch of layers right here because I have my two pocket layers, my two waistband layers, and my 
um, the front shirt layer. And then I'm going to meet them right here at the corner. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other edge. So I'm going to go ahead and steam my other band and do the same thing, attach it, and then we'll move on to attaching the band. So I pinned the other, my band on the back as well. And what I did, what I'm going to do now is when at the corners where they're supposed to overlap, I'm just going to put a couple stitches right there, overlap them just a tiny bit right here in the corner and put a couple stitches right there so that um, when I go to attach the band, it doesn't, uh, the bands there end up attaching together so they don't kind of, kind of don't move and all that good stuff. So I'm just putting a couple stitches right there. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and sew the band on. So we're going to go ahead and sew all the edge around the bottom, making sure in the front area that we're sewing all the layers, the hood, the two layers of the pocket. Ah! I almost stuck my finger in there. The two layers of the pocket and the uh, two layers of the band when we get to the front. Right now I'm doing the back, but um, that's when we get to the front. Like in the back, you need to make sure you've got all three layers. And in the front, you need to make sure you've got all five layers, I think it is. And it's good because this stitch right here helps it to stay together. As I say that, I hope I'm getting all my layers in there. And you may have to stretch a little tiny bit, but I'm not stretching very much at all. Okay, and now you flip that down and steam. And if you want to, you can go ahead and top stitch that down. Okay. Let me go ahead and steam it this way first, and then I'll go around and steam the other side. And my band is done. My shirt is put together. So now I'm going to move on to uh, my sleeves. Okay. So what I'm going to do with my sleeves is I'm going to random thread. I'm going to grab my sleeve and since I'm doing, uh, I am going to look at these little pandas on the sleeves. That's what you wanted to do. All right. I'm going to fold them together at the raw edge. And I am going to sew them at the raw edge right here so I can put them together okay I'm gonna sew that and I'm gonna do the same to the other one and then we'll move on to the next step all right so I sewed my sleeves at the sides turned it right side out and I went ahead and hemmed because I am hemming I'm not coughing today so I went ahead and hemmed that and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn my bodice right side inside out inside out yeah that's what it is and then I'm going to go ahead and match my sleeves. Now, I already marked where my front of my sleeve or my back of my sleeve is. There's a mark on your pattern piece. So here's my back. And I know, so I know that's going to be my back. So I'm going to fit this one on this side because I want my seam to meet with the seam of my, sh of my uh, shirt, my uh, armpit seam. And so I want to go ahead and make sure that's meeting and it's the notch that I made, the mark that I made for the back is facing the back of the hood, a hoodie. And then I went ahead and pinned and I'm going all the way up the sleeve to the tippy toe of the sleeve right here with my one side. And then, and pin. And then I'm going to go all the way to the same thing on the other side. To the tippy toe of my sleeve. And pin right here. Okay. 
and I am going to go ahead and sew that raw edge all the way down and all the way around. I'm going to start at the top and go all the way around and I'm going to do the same thing with my other sleeve. So I'm going to do this one, show you right here. Make sure you catch all your fabric. Going all the way around. Here I'm coming. show me that that was the back sleeve and I'm coming all the way around. okay and so that one sleeve is on as you can see so I'm gonna do the same thing for the next sleeve I'm gonna put it in there attach it and then sew it and then we'll move on all right my sleeves are both on so now we're gonna move on to our hood so I'm gonna grab my liner and my outer hood and I'm gonna put my liner both my uh both sides of my liner right sides together in front of each other it's right sides together in front of each other and i'm gonna line them up at the raw edges line 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 them up okay once they're lined up i'm gonna pin and i'm gonna sew around the outer raw edge of my hood little clip right here that got stuck together okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I already did this step to my uh, liner as well in well so you gotta do this for the two sides together for your outer and for the two sides together for your liner So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my outer, this is my outer layer, and flip it right side out. And this is my liner. I'm gonna fit my outer inside my liner, just like so, and pin at the top. And go all the way down to the front and pin. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the other side to the front and pin as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go and sew up together that front edge. So I'm going to go all the way around that front edge. Making sure those raw sides are together. Okay, now you can pin a little bit more than I did. I just did one pin and actually three pins, but I'm lazy when it comes to pins. And this fabric is not really rolling, so that's a plus. There is nothing wrong with pinning, putting more pins in. I just didn't. Sometimes I do things that I'm like, why? I should have just pinned it. But then it works out and I'm like, oh. Don't follow my bad example. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it right side out. And here's my hood. Tuck that liner in, and the hood is done. I love putting these hood on after I do them. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and steam. And what I like to do, because this one's got the, the little stripes, I like to pull it over a little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit, so you can see the stripes. And I am gonna go ahead and top stitch. 
um, after I, I'm going to steam it first and then I'm going to go over there to my cover stitch and actually top stitch this. Um, you can top stitch it, you don't have to. I've done plenty of hoods without top stitching, so it's not necessary. If you don't have a cover stitch, you can just do a straight stitch on your sewing machine or a zigzag stitch, it's up to you. It's not going to be, um, uh, it's not a part that they're going to be, uh, it's not going to be stretched out, like, you know, like sleeve cuffs or whatever. Um, so I think a stretch stitch will be just fine if that's what you have and if that's what you want to, I mean, a, a straight stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch this on. I mean, not on, just top stitch it and then I'll come back and then after I come back, we'll go ahead and put the hood on and we'll be done. Guys, my hood is top stitched on or I'll top stitch together and I'm going to find the back back of my shirt um, and I'm going to mark it right here, mark it, mark it and I'm going to do the same thing but find the front. So you, what you do is you meet the sleeves and where you go to the front, that's your front mark right there. I meet that front right there. Now for the hood, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pin the back. The right side, the outer side of your shirt, the, of your hood goes to the outer side of your hoodie. So you're, ma you're matching right sides together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and this is an 8T, an 8, size 8. So um, I think size 12 months to 5, you overlap 3 inches. But size um, 5 to 8 to 10, um, you overlap 4 inches. So it's 2 inches on each side. So if you look right here where my middle is, I'm going to go 2 inches to one side with this one. And I... Don't, oh yeah, here it is, my ruler. So I'll go two inches over. So here's my one right here. And so I'm gonna pin it right there. My one spot right there. And I'll pin it again at the middle just for good measure. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same with the other side. From the middle, I'm going out two inches this way. Where are you? Middle. Okay. And I'm going out two inches this way, right here. And I'm going to pin it. And this time I'm going to pin all four layers. All five layers. Right here. Here's my overlap. Keep pulling out the little tiny pin that I don't need. Okay. So now I can go back to right here to the middle, this middle pin, and pull that pin out and attach it to all my layers. You're gonna have, you're gonna have four, five layers right here where it meets at the neck. So make sure that all your layers are pinned together. And so when you go to sew it, you're actually grabbing all the layers and not just part of the layers. Because then you'll have a gap. No fun. Okay, so now I gotta stretch just enough, just a little bit, to match up all the raw edges of my hood and shirt. I keep grabbing the tiny one. Okay, there's one side and here's my other side. My hood and my shirt. And now I'm going to go ahead and search all the way around. I'll start at the back, 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 and go all the way around. Remember, it's right sides together. And we want to make sure that we catch all the fabrics that you need to catch. On the back, you only have to catch the two. The shirt, the three, I mean, shirt, hoodie, and liner, outer, liner, and shirt. But right at the front, at the overlap, you're going to have to catch all four of them. I mean, all five of them. All right, here you go. I'm getting there. I'm getting nervous. I mean, not really. Just make sure you do it slowly and carefully. I 
touching all the fabrics. Almost there. Now this is my last part. And then the moment of truth. Here I go opening it up. Yay! All in. All in. See? Got it. My hood is done done and done how cute is this thing cute huh my son is gonna be so happy when he sees it in the morning um he actually designed it and i'm gonna show you how he designed it um ellie and matt coloring pages look at this he designed his hood and i know here it shows that the lines are on the outside but he told me the lines are supposed to be on the inside so he did it flipped over, but look at how cute. He designed it and I was able to make it. Do you see that? That's so awesome. Thank you, Ellie and Mac for making the coloring pages. And I just need to make him some shorts, some orange shorts. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me and sewing this um, um, swag hoodie with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you show us your swag hoodie when you make it. I'll post it on our Facebook page or on Instagram. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the other amazing um, sew alongs that we have, uh, that we offer. And please let me know if you have any comments below and like our videos. And we'd love to see you again some other time. Have a great, uh, great day. Bye.